What's up guys? I tricked you, didn't you? Didn't I? <laughs> I totally made you think that this was a painting video, but it's not. I'm moving. So I'm here right now, random day. I have like a week, less than a week before I'm like moving out of this place. So I'm, it's like 10 o'clock at night right now. I got off work a little bit ago and I just got to get a couple things packed up. So this is going to be a moving video. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you in a bit. I am actually moving on the 4th so that this video, I probably already said this once, but this video is just going to be kind of a conversation about <laughs> what my moving process looks like. So it's a lot of, everything is super organized. I had somebody tell me this today, like, you're really organized, it should be easy for you to pack. And it is, because I am so organized. All of my stuff is in bins, like I know where everything is. As soon as I put something in a box, it has a name on it already. and I'm good to go. It's just more of like a getting all of it out. That's the part that's going to be hard. It's just having everything put into a vehicle and moved to my new location. And then just also having everything in boxes. <sighs> and I can't work on it when everything's in boxes. So I'm going to do a quick goodbye to Strongbox. Even though I am not moving to the 4th, today is uh, Friday the 30th. So I'm going to have this video up for you guys tomorrow. But I am officially not moving until the 4th. So I think what I'm going to do for my next video, and you guys can let me know also like what you want to see, but what I think I'm going to do for my next Saturday video, because I will be moved into my studio at least by that time, hopefully. Not Maybe not everything hung up on the walls, but whatever. I'm going to have most of my studio stuff placed into my new space. And I'm very excited about that. I really hope you guys are too. Um, it's going to be smaller but it's going to be different and different is always interesting and different is always fun. So that's what we're going to do. And that's what probably tomorrow or next Saturday's video is going to be. It's just like a new studio tour, like maybe not all the way, but we'll talk more about that then. So I'm going to film a little bit of like a goodbye strong box so, so that you guys can see really kind of what it was and like how, it, I mean, I've, I've filmed this before, but a little bit more about how it is now as I am leaving. What everything is left in here um probably what's going to happen is that whenever we are moving out uh, my sister is going to help me we'll probably just be like taking this stuff like individually out instead of having it in boxes and these are the boxes that i have Whew. as you can see everything okay these are empty but as you can see everything is labeled perfectly and caustic in watercolor and tall brushes. This is pots and desktop copper. <laughs> this is trolley stuff and my tattoo power supply and sketchbooks and 
extra oil paint, oil paint stuff, and blank CDs. That concludes my video. I will show you a little bit afterwards, but I'm going to say goodbye right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next week, if it's a studio tour or if it's a video about my experience in art school or just whatever it's going to be. It needs to be something that I can do without working on anything. So if you want to see like my old artwork, if you want to see sketchbook stuff, just let me know what you want to see in the comments below and I'll see you guys next Saturday. Make sure you subscribe because I will be doing a new giveaway on uh, whenever I reach 1,000 subscribers and I'm already at 900 and it's crazy and so exciting and I just can't even believe it. I don't even know 900 people but obviously I do because of all of you guys. Every single person that has subscribed to me, I've seen your, your name. Please say hi if you are new because we welcome you. And if you guys have questions, like play, talk to each other. I try to answer as many questions as possible. Pretty much do answer all of my questions. But when you guys seek other people's questions, try to answer them too if you know something I don't know. I always leave up people's um, responses. I always leave up people's comments, even if it goes against what I'm saying because it is community and not everyone is right. Not everyone has all the answers and I sure don't. But <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that. Bye guys, thank you so much. I'll see you later. That's my rug. Fucking taking it. Not fucking cool. This is my rug. Yeah, not fucking cool, dude.